a beam with two internal hinges, is subjected to a trapezoidal load and a point load. Let's calculate the beam's support reactions. We start by splitting the beam at the hinges and show its internal forces. At each hinge, there is an axial force and a shear force. The bending moment at the hinge is zero. To correctly draw these internal forces, we must show them acting at the left and right sides of each hinge. At each hinge, the two axial forces must be shown in opposing directions. If one is oriented to the left, the other should be directed to the right. Similarly, if a shear force is directed downward, its counterpart should be drawn pointing upward. The axial forces depicted at each hinge should be of equal magnitude. The two shear forces must also have the same magnitude. Let's label the force magnitudes. For the left hinge, the axial force magnitude is denoted as Cx, and the shear force as Vc. For the right hinge, the axial force is labeled dx, and the shear force is represented by Vd. This represents a partial free body diagram of the beam. To complete the diagram, we need to show the support reaction forces. Each roller support has one vertical reaction force. The fixed support has three reaction forces. We can replace each distributed load with its equivalent concentrated load to facilitate writing the equilibrium equations. Since the area of this triangle is 9, we replace it with a point load of 9 kN. The load is placed on the beam at the geometric center of the triangle. This rectangle, having an area of 24, can be replaced with a point load of 24 kilonewtons, placed on the beam at the geometric center of the rectangle. This constitutes the complete free body diagram for the entire beam. We are now ready to write the three equilibrium equations for each beam segment. The sum of the forces in the x direction, the sum of the forces in the y direction, and the sum of the moments about the z axis must be zero. The equilibrium equations for the left segment are for the middle segment of the beam, we can write. For the right segment, the equilibrium equations can be expressed as. Cx equals zero. We can deduce that dx is zero from this equation. And this equation yields E sub x equals zero. Since this equation has one unknown only, we can use it to solve for V sub d. By substituting negative six for V d in this equation, we can determine V sub c. Knowing V sub c, we can determine B sub y from this equation. And this equation can be solved for A sub y. Then, we can determine E sub y from this equation. And this equation can be used to determine M sub e. Let's show the calculated forces on the free body diagram. Note the shear force with a negative magnitude. We can reverse the direction of the force and change the sign from negative to positive. To summarize, here are the beam's support reactions.